Hey, this is American Lawsdale fan, and today we're going to be talking about the Springco guide rod. It's supposed to uh, reduce recoil. Now, even the company will say there's no such way of getting rid of recoil. We all remember Newton's Law of Physics. So, what this is supposed to do is reduce your perceived or your felt recoil. So, hope you like this video. We're going to talk a little bit about it, show some uh, video footage of uh, meet the range with this as well as a stock recoil guide rod Real quick. so it's a stainless steel guide rod uncaptured uh, Sprinko makes uh, the springs themselves it's kind of nice because if you had a captured guide rod you would absolutely have to uh, either change the whole assembly out or you'd need some sort of tool so it's kind of neat that it's the springs can be easily replaced without having to replace the whole guide rod and just showing you the guide rod itself, if you notice it's kind of a two-part spring. So basically as the recoil starts, you're gonna the uh, slide is gonna bang against here and then from here it's gonna compress so that theoretically it doesn't uh, bang against the frame. What and I've done here is assemble the pistol without the barrel on the guide rod and just showing you that when the slide comes back and hitting the frame so right about there is approximately where it hits hence the um, slide release and while not that bad technically the steel slide hits a section of the frame and we'll go ahead and show you where so right here on the lip is where this piece of course strikes against the frame and that's of course when you feel the recoil in your hand so th in theory what happens here is once the guide rod gets about to this position it acts as a cushion before it comes all the way back so it obviously fit right about there and in theory, well, it's kind of hard to see, but in theory, this is where the guide rod would sit. And right about here, when the slide is moving back and forth, um, this piece on the slide would strike this portion and kind of ease into it before it actually hits here. This is the maximum spot uh, where the slide goes back right here is where you would start to feel uh, any uh, serious recoil up until this time the recoil spring is taking all the slack and then right about here we're getting that little secondary spring eases it up a little bit and that captures most of the impact until right there so in theory it was supposed to uh, slow down some of the perceived recoil remember you can't get rid of recoil altogether but it was supposed to slow down some of the perceived recoil and also it would in theory keep the slide from overly hitting some of the polymer frame a polymer is great because it doesn't uh, it's not like hitting steel against steel uh, so it is softer however yeah over time theoretically you could um, do start doing some damage to your frame um, for uh, 1911 fans uh, most of you have you or have heard of the Wilson combat uh, recoil buffer it doesn't really buffer the recoil but what it does is it keeps the steel from hitting steel uh, during recoil so anyway that's what the spring co is it acts here softens some of the uh, fe uh, felt recoil or perceived recoil and in theory it's supposedly kind of works so I took some video footage and I'm going to show that to you now on uh, using a stock recoil guide rod and the spring co now I know this is not a scientific test by any means but just showing you what I uh, what I thought and um, then I'll share my final thoughts with you all right hope you like this. okay down at the range this is standard bullseye 50 feet got the Glock 23 and this one 
right now has the Sprinco uh, recoil reducer and supposedly bangs up your gun a lot less. Uh, I'm feeling a difference, but uh, let's do a very unscientific test and film uh, how much uh, perceived recoil, that means how much muzzle flip is as compared to putting the stock uh, recoil spring guide rod on. So we'll see. See how we do. Okay, so now I reinstalled the stock uh, recoil spring, and this is what the Springco recoil spring looks like. Okay, let's see how the standard recoil guide rod goes. What's the verdict? Well, I have to say that there is a slight difference and improvement with the Sprinco, but not in the way I thought it'd be. I thought that it would reduce more muzzle flip, and that's not the case. It actually, uh, you feel it more in the hand. Um, I thought that, you know, hey, it's polymer, it's polymer hitting polymer. You're really not going to notice a difference in the hand, but I think it is. It definitely makes it a little less snappy. I'm going to look at the footage and uh, see, uh, see if I can notice any difference in the muzzle flip. Uh, I do think I'm placing my shots better, uh, particularly the follow-ups. So It is worth it. Um, I think it's better than some of the other aftermarket things. First of all, it's not too expensive. And big thing is the captured, uncaptured uh, spring. Uh, because if this was captured, you'd either need a way to unscrew it and then take it off, or you'd have to just buy a whole new one. Well, when they're 10 bucks a piece, no big deal. You know, when they're closer to 70, well, yeah, that's important. And the springs are pretty inexpensive. So, that's, uh, that's interesting. I definitely, definitely like it. Ultimately, there wasn't much difference between the two recoil guide rods, but what I did notice is with the Springco, uh, the recoil was a little less snappy. I felt it a little less in my hand, and while it didn't reduce the muzzle flip, it did allow me to focus more back on my second shots. So ultimately, I do think it works. That's just my opinion. God bless you and those you love.